All right, good morning, Internet. Today is October 16th, 2012, and decided to do a video about the uh, installation of a 3B intake manifold onto a 7A engine in the uh, 90 Quattro sedan. So, uh, just as kind of a general reference, um, just a couple things that I had to do to make the intake fit. Um, I know this would have been kind of neat to have when I was looking to do it, and um, just hopefully to help anybody out that's uh, got any questions about it. But basically, um, it pretty much everything bolts in there. The major area that I had to deal with was the power steering pump. Uh, I'm just right down there. Basically, this line right here, there's a uh, little clip there. You can probably see right there. And uh, I just had to cut that because it was originally bolted to the back of the, the housing there. Right about there, and so that would uh, that would hit the intake manifold when I was trying to bolt it in, and uh, yeah. So basically, that wasn't a huge issue though. All I had to do was um, take that clip off, free the motion up a bit, and then uh, loosen this bolt, turn it over. It does sit a little bit closer to the radiator now, um, which. I don't know, I don't think it's going to build up enough heat to really do any uh, damage or screw with the system at all, but uh, we'll see. It hasn't done anything so far. The radiator, the hose for going from the, uh, from the head itself to the radiator uh, is actually, it does get pinched quite a bit in between the, he the the intake manifold right there. Um, not all the way, but it, there's there's definitely a significant um, significant amount of restriction there. So I haven't dealt with that yet, but once again, I haven't found any issues with it. Um, it doesn't, uh, hasn't affected anything so far, so kind of got my fingers crossed right now I'm hoping to switch to the uh, to a 3b head down the road and then use a, a water manifold off of that instead of the, the single port for the 7a head uh, with the with the setup um, if you're using a stock ECU there's a port on top of the 3b intake manifold that does need to be capped off uh, not really a huge issue. I just use just the custom gasket material and a piece of plexiglass. Yeah, I know, real high tech, but it's uh, it works. Um, as far as the fuel lines go, you pretty much have to use the return line from the 3B if you're using the stock 3B rail because it has a banjo bolt fitting that. Uh, is uh, not compatible with the 7A uh, fuel rail. So you definitely need that. And uh, you also need the short, just a short little pipe here that goes from the fuel rail to the fuel pressure regulator. Uh, which I don't know if I'll be able to get a picture of that. Uh, it's pretty far down there. Um, but uh, yeah, it basically goes to the fuel pressure regulator, but you can use, um, actually I found it, it's better to use the, the uh, feed line from the 7A fuel rail because it's a, it's a lot shorter than the 3B one. The 3B one is pretty long and it just makes for uh, just kind of a, too much, uh, a little too long for for the application so that's um, 
I don't know, that's about all I had to do with the fuel system, really. Everything else, I had the uh, upgraded 034 injectors, so those just plug right into the, uh, the fuel rail there without any modification. I just routed um, the harness in behind the fuel rail. Seems like it's working pretty well, not, not a whole lot of play or vibration or anything. Um, the spark plug wire is pretty much the same thing. I just fed him, you know, in through there and whatnot. The uh, 3B throttle body does work with the 7A valve cover. The um, I decided to take the dash pot off of it, um, which I don't know. I might still put it back on just. Uh, just so it'll be a little bit better for daily driving. I've kind of been noticing with the with the 034 rip chip that it's um, not lighting, not uh, liking to switch from the open throttle loop to uh, the idle loop. And uh, so you know, coming to a sudden stop or something, it'll just kind of it it'll uh, almost stall, which yeah, it's kind of annoying, but. For the most part, it isn't too bad. It's only once in a while. As far as the uh, throttle cable goes, um, that's pretty much plug and play. You don't have to get a different one. I've kind of found now that um, due to the sharp, the sharp angle at which it comes out, at least the way that I've routed it, kind of. Um, yeah, it comes out there, so it's kind of got a sharp angle because I routed it around the brake booster. And so it seems like there's a little bit of friction um, in the lines, which I haven't, it hasn't really bugged me that much, but it's still, it would be nice to just have it a little bit smoother. Um, and just, uh, yeah, just make it a little bit, uh, a little bit nicer feeling. Uh, you, uh, contrary to popular belief, you do not have to move the battery to the trunk when you put the 3B intake manifold on. All you need is just a slightly smaller battery. I got one of the smaller Optimas. Um, everything clears really well. I mean, honestly, there's, you know, it's not even, it's not pinching the wire for the throttle position sensor at all. So, uh, I, yeah, I haven't found any issues with that yet. Uh, which that, although that is another uh, modification that, um, that I was, that needs to be done, is you have to uh, extend the throttle position sensor uh, wire uh, about, probably about a, f a foot and a half or so. It normally comes out right about somewhere in there and uh, just you just have to extend it a little bit which I just used some simple like crimp uh, wire connectors and I think it was 22 gauge wire and uh, yeah the ISV um, wasn't really a huge re deal to redo you just um, I just got some you know generic heater hose and uh, plumbed it in the kind of can't see it too well here but uh, yeah I just kind of plumbed it in and it's a bit of a tight fit but it uh, it works out the crankcase breather was another issue uh, I basically, I had actually another crankcase breather pipe, uh, actual uh, metal line off another five cylinder, I think it was a 10 valve or something, and I just ended up cutting it and just uh, making it long enough to come up behind the head. I did actually get um, not just a uh, heater hose for this, I actually got some, uh, some uh, good ventilation. A fuel line hose, and I can't remember what the heck it is. 
Um, but it's uh, definitely, it's more resistant to the fumes uh, coming out of the crank and everything. So it shouldn't have any issues with uh, degrading or um, with the rubber degrading and whatnot. Um, so hopefully that should hang in there pretty well. And then I just got uh, just a Spectre. It's a little, it's just a plastic tube with three ports in it. Um, it works out all right. It's just a kind of a cheap fix. I think at some point I want to switch that out just because it's, I think it's kind of a weak link in the system. I haven't noticed any vacuum leaks so far, but um, I just don't trust these. They seem a little weak to me. Um, I did swap to the big, big uh, mass airflow sensor and uh, air filter, which I really do need to get a, a uh, some kind of heat shield or something up for that because. Little bit too close to the to the headers for comfort and yeah basically for the intake I just got uh, galvanized some galvanized uh, exhaust pipe from a local shucks cut it to length and just a couple hoses or uh, a couple silicon connectors And yeah, I think that was that's about the extent of it. Um, everything else is pretty much just plug and play. You can use the same uh, same length belt for the power steering pump. I didn't have to change that out. It all uh, tensioned up pretty well. And yeah, so that's uh, that's pretty much it. If you got any questions, just uh, or comments, let me know. I'd be happy to answer anything I may have forgotten about. And um, yeah, just trying to get the word out there. But, uh, yeah. Oh, one last piece of advice. Don't use duplicolor engine enamel. Or maybe, I don't know. I had really bad luck with it. It just, I, I don't know if I just didn't clean the surface well enough when I originally painted it. But I've been, just from working on the engine, and um, just knocking stuff against it, even it's just kind of nicked up and... I even put a clear coat and everything. It's I'm a little disappointed, but um, yeah, we'll see. What can I say? Do it yourself. Uh, but interesting experience nonetheless.